Oh. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You're watching my video right now? Whoa. Oh, what's up, guys? The people that watch my video right now. Um, welcome back for another Minecraft video, guys. Today, we're going to be reviewing a new modded factions that recently came out. It's called Mystic Factions, and the server is actually epic. I, there's so much stuff in the server. There's lots of mods, lots of OP kits. There's, like, pretty much this server is epic. And I like the spawn, too. It looks pretty cool. And... Guys, before I actually start reviewing the whole server and looking around, um, be sure to check out Polar Aim's channel. He was the creator of this map. And um, I'll put his channel in the description, and I'll put a link um, to a video or to his video where you can actually download the map and just get the files in his description, guys. And um, I didn't build this map at all, guys. And this is none, none of the credit for me. Polar Aim actually gave us consent for me to actually review the server. So I'm not really doing anything here, guys. And um, what is it? Uh, I'm getting a little confused right now here. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry for uh, the factions video coming out really late. Uh, it was like, I don't know, like 8 o'clock or something. I forgot to say that. Um, but there's going to be a faction video hopefully tomorrow for you guys, but I'm doing this review because the server is actually pretty epic. Um, I'm going to be going through all this stuff right here. You guys can see here. Um, boom. And boom. And boom. So there's lots of stuff I'm going to be seeing um, on the server, so it's pretty cool. There's a lot of kits too. There's tons of kits, and the server is going to be epic, guys. And um, I read the server info here. Let me just grab I'm gonna grab a dirt block. And here we go. I'm going to go through this real quick. So we have the um, welcome to Mr. Factions, the rules for the server. And then we have ratings, uh, materials you have to actually raid with. And um, there's actually a supply drop on the server at these coordinates. Um, X negative 90 and X um, 20 and Z 100 and 15 and then we have credit here so i guess the terrain was actually built by creeper destroyer so that's um a little different um yeah the terrain is actually pretty crazy the nether is even crazier too um i will show you guys the nether real quick before i actually start reviewing it because i don't want to show it during that process so we're we'll right here so the only reason why you're supposed to buy obsidian on the server also is to go to the nether but um you can also just build a base in the overworld over here but the nether is important also for all the ores you can actually um mine in here um, i'm gonna go hop in here um if you guys can see here oops oops there we go so i'm gonna get a night vision potion real quick um boom so you guys can see here this is actually modded terrain in the nether guys i'm pretty sure if i go all the way up high you'll be able to actually see the um some terrain here i don't know where is it again i'm pretty sure it's like past here um uh i'm gonna try to look for it guys here uh hmm. oh it's right here i think i don't think this is loading in oops oh, i guess this is how big it is yeah i forgot you if you put this world on um large it'll mess up the whole um end and also the overworld because it's on classic so I'm pretty sure I don't think you want to do that unless you want more land to actually mine at. But this place is actually crazy here. There's lots of ores you can mine. I'm pretty sure there's like some hidden diamonds in here. But lots of um, usual ores um, like iron, gold, lapis, coal. Um, but yeah, I need, to, I need to get out of here. Where's the portal? Uh-oh, I think I lost the portal. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, we're out. And that's the nether. That's pretty much where you can actually mine all your ores and stuff. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to make it separately so he didn't put it at spawn. The terrain is actually really cool too. There's lots of um, sugar cane you actually can sell. And um, lots of mountains and also um, cool areas you can actually um, explore on this uh, server. And um, that is pretty much all the stuff I have to show before I actually start reviewing. So let's go ahead and check out all the um, cool things that he added to the server. Places. Guys. So, we actually have some crankies here. We'll open them at the end, but I want to show you guys the kits. So, we have kit starter here. Um, it just gives you some like, chain armor and some potions and food. And then we have kit YouTuber here. You, I think you need at least 150, because um, that's what Polar Aim said. And um, what is it called? It says 500 subs, but I don't really think you need 500 subs, because the kit isn't the best. I'm pretty sure. I don't even know, dude. Um, but... 
I don't even know. I don't know. This kit is actually pretty good. It's Prot 2, um, Sharp 2. And pretty much, like, everything's 2. So that's pretty good. And if you're wondering, I have a speed potion on it because I'm going a little faster. But um, we're just going to go look first at the smelting room, I guess. Um, yeah. So this is the usual smelting room. Boom. Close the door. People can get in. Put your items in there. Stand here for, like, I guess an hour to and pretty much uh, smell all your stuff. And you're good. And there's e-chest also here, too. Hey, that's cool. Let me get out of here. Okay, so I guess we'll we'll do the shop last because that's um, mostly the, I guess, important one of the server because shops are really important. Infections. Okay, we're going to go over here to mob farm. So this is usually some um, pig spawners. So I guess you just kill them and you can just farm them here for like a while to get some food. I'm pretty sure you can sell it. I don't know. I wish you can sell pig meat. Um, let me see here. Uh... I'm just gonna do the best stuff for last. And you wanna have creative on the server, so don't worry. Um, I'll go to enchanting room. So right here we have just a regular enchanting room to enchant your gear. And then we also have, um, you can buy enchantment ting stuff, I guess. You could buy an enchantment table, XP bottles, books, and bookshelves with $1,000, a hundred, a hundred, and a thousand. So he has that type of currency with um, hundreds and thousands. So, we're gonna go over here. So this is the usual factions wall. So just put your uh, factions on the wall, saying like, uh, I don't know, squads, and then you can put your PSN like um, Minecraft Pro Gamer or something, something like that. I don't even know. But um, that's like a just as an example. So we'll go into the um, good stuff here. Um, where's the good stuff? Oh yeah, we'll go into the donations. Donations. Yeah. So donations. Um. I guess here, I already read this, or um, you get the kits every Monday and Friday, I guess. So that's pretty cool. And there's like different levels of it. So there's VIP, VIP Plus, and then VIP, or MVP, MVP. So we're going here to um, VIP. So it's pretty much really OP gear, pro, um, is it Prot 6, I'm pretty sure? And Sharp 6. I think it's like um, around 6 area and you get some XP bottles and some golden apples so this kit's pretty OP if you donate to the server $15 um, to get this kit the next one VIP plus is $25 and it's actually prot 7 I'm pretty sure yeah prot 7 and it's pretty some OP gear more there's a god apple this time and also a common key so you can I guess you can save the common key every time you get the kit and here we got MVP it is $25 $35 I can't even see, I'm blind. Um, it's Zeus kit. Zeus. Um, Prots 8, I think. Prot 8. Um, this kit's actually pretty OP too. You get um, Obsidian this time, and you get a server slot. That's cool. One use. Um, what is this kit called? I'm not reading the kits. Um, Poseidon. That's, the, that's Poseidon. And this one is um, Hyposis. Posis? I don't even know. I'm really bad at this. Um, so these are the um, donator um, kits, I guess, from uh, was it VIP to MVP. So that's a pretty cool, um, I guess, design. He went there for to have different variants of um, prices for kits. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. And we are done with the donator uh, donations um, area for the kits, and we're gonna go on to the shop, and we'll go to the crakeys for last. And that's pretty much it about the server, guys. Okay, so let's go see here. So all we we have tons of items here to sell, and we are gonna be going to start with I guess the converting. So or convert converter convert. I don't know. But um, so we have lots of uh, money, like money, money, money. Um, here. So we have a hundred for ten. Um, ten. Uh, one hundred. No, ten ten dollars for a hundred, and they have ten a hundred dollars for a thousand. We have ten thousand dollars for ten thousand, and ten ten thousand dollars for a hundred thousand. This is confusing me. Ten a hundred thousand for a million dollars, and then you can convert it back if you want. Um, right here. So this is converting it back, so this um, back and forth. I guess that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So that's the um converter. And we're gonna go on to the. Let me see. I guess we'll go on to here. The rating materials. 
So this is the usual stuff you can buy to Ray, TNT, Creep Rigs, and Crystals, and E Pearls, because E Pearls are really useful in um, raiding. If you want E Pearl into the base, if there's a little hole, so that's pretty good. So we got some potions here. You can buy um, Jump Boost, mostly usable potions. I'm pretty sure you can buy some new ones. That's it. Um, right here, guys. These are just usual potions. Uh, yeah. And these are the crate keys you can buy. I have all of them here. I'm gonna open them in a minute, but I guess they're pretty expensive. The, this one's pretty expensive, and this one too, a hundred thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure these are cheap. So, from my heard, I see the um, actual um, prices for each um, money moved up. I'm pretty sure because it's moved up to a hundred, two thousand. You know what I mean? Um, but this is the boss drops. So, word of skeleton skull, you get ten thousand. Um, Prism Shark and Crystal, you get 10,000, 10,000 for Sponge and Nether Star, so that's pretty cool. And here we got some food you can buy, I'm pretty sure you can buy this. Um, wait. Oh yeah, you can buy food, food. This is some good food if you guys want to buy it. Some good food, usual food. And some spawners, here we go. So they're all organized into an actual like spawner, so you don't have to like put the spawn egg in it, you have to buy the spawn egg and the spawner, so that's pretty cool. Don't have to do that. And here we go. I can sell some materials. Lots of wood blocks and also ores. So that's pretty cool. And base blocks. So I guess if you want to make your base, there's kind of different. Well, there's a lot of blocks here. Wool, um, clay. Well, it's not called clay anymore. But there's um, yeah. You know what I mean. Pretty sure this is clay. Is this clay? Yeah, this is clay. Well, they changed it to um, something else, but it's pretty much cool. So we got obsidian here, hopper, redstone block, ender chest, and some buckets. And that's pretty much about the base blocks. The kits you can buy are pretty various from here. Um, I may go ahead and check out all the kits, but I have to get tons of money. But I'm pretty sure the kits are really OP. This is the best kit in the actual game instead of the donator kit. Um, like Poseidon and uh, Zeus. And also, uh, I don't know the other, no, the other one. So the best kit is Kit Nike. Or, yeah. Kit Nike. Nike. Nike, I don't know. But we here, we have some farming materials. Um, if I can open this. Uh, the usual farming materials where you can, um, I think you can buy and then sell. Yeah, you can sell. Buy and sell, so that's pretty cool in one. Pretty sure, yeah. So over here, we have the mob drops. Here we go. You can sell all these mob drops, so a lot of them sell for good. So if, if you can get a blaze spawner, you can farm blazes, and um, yeah, that's pretty good. And mob pork chops, you can get 10 bucks each, so you can get like $100 each time you kill lots of pigs. So I think that's a couple stacks, though. But that's the shop, guys. We're going to move on to the crate keys, guys, and that's pretty much it about the server. Um, and where is the crate keys? It's over here, I'm pretty sure. Some people are actually playing on the server, if you're wondering. Yeah, they're right here. Boom. And if you guys see this, is kind of funny. You can walk backwards. I don't know. It's a new thing they did to the game. Um, so these are the unbreakable crickies that Polar Aim built. Um, if you guys don't Polar Aim. Uh, here we go. Open a common. Yee. Water breathing. Unlimited water breathing, I'm pretty sure. These like are modded potions. That's pretty cool. Night vision. Okay. Some night vision potion. My inventory is like full of stuff. Uncommon. So we got slowness. We got a combat shield. So that's pretty good. I like combat shields. We got rare here. We'll open rare. Boom. I don't think I have enough inventory for this. Ooh, we got two kits and an iron golem spawner. That's really good. Let me throw out some stuff real quick. Um, here we go. Um. Uh, and we're going to the last one, so we got a Iron Golem spawner. There you go. Uh, no, we get the spawn egg and the spawner. Nah, never mind. And then we over here we have kit. Um, so what's this kit's this? Oh, efficiency 5. So I don't even know what's the kit is, but that's a kit. Um, I need to throw away some stuff for space, guys. I need space. I need space. Uh, um, anything else we can throw? Out? Iron Golem spawner. There we go. So next we have the ultra rare, and we're open the last key of the server. 
And we got a strength, an OP pick. We got an OP pick, actually. Real OP pick. So that's pretty much it about the server, guys. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. That was all the stuff on the server, guys. And uh, remember, guys, the um, person that actually created the map, Polar Aim, his channel is in the description if you want. guys want to go check that out. And also the video where you can actually download the map in Polar Aim's channel. I will link that also. And I guys, I didn't build this map at all. I didn't do anything on it. I'm just reviewing it. He gave me his consent to actually review it. So, um, um, yeah. So, um, thank you guys so much for all the support. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. And I will see you guys later. Peace, guys.